Rachel and welcome to our review Sunday. So just real fast, I wanted to recap what we made during the week. To start, we made our really cool Batman canvas because the Batman vs. Superman movie was coming out and I heard it was awesome. Let me know if you guys liked it because I want to know if I should go or not or if it's a total waste of money. But I did have to throw a little Harley and Joker in there as well because I'm a huge Harley Quinn fan. And then we came back on Wednesday with our really cool waterfall card and we used the Lawn Fawn I Love You S'more stamp set. And then Thursday we made an apron because, well, we're all crafters and we all need an apron, right? So that was really cute and we used one of the pre-made Prima apron kits that I got at a craft garage sale. And then Saturday, because we missed Friday, we're still working on the setup, but trust me, Musical Friday will be here this week. I promise you. Um, but Saturday we made a really cute simple card also using the I Wheelie Like You stamp set from Lawn Fawn. Again, all the Lawn Fawn stamp sets that we've used this past week are being retired. So get them while you can. They were on sale at MarkerPop.com. They were on sale at LawnFawn.com. And they should be on sale at any of the local craft stores that carry Lawn Fawn by you. I know by me here in beautiful sunny California it is Beverly's because Michael's and Joann's does not carry them so wherever Lawn Fawn is sold near you check it out because they will be gone very soon so this upcoming week most likely we'll probably use a few more of those stamp sets before they're gone and then I wanted to also talk to you a little bit again about the intense pencils so last week we talked about all the different places that you can get them and the prices and how they were going so if you haven't seen that video I will put a link down below for you guys to check that one out but I did receive my pencils from eBay from Canada and I love them I started playing with them but I was horribly disappointed the tin was completely dented in the underside and when I unwrapped it the bottom layer of pencils some of them were kind of damaged and the thing is just like Prismacolors you don't want to drop or damage your pencils because the lead inside can break and that's no bueno. So I reordered them from this really cool new site called Jet.com and they're I guess trying to be kind of like the next big Amazon but I really really like them. So to start with when you first make your first purchase you get 15% off so my pencils were $80 and it came with free shipping shipping is within two to five days which is awesome because that means I get mine a lot faster than anywhere else currently and they are definitely in stock so if you guys want to pick them up I recommend doing that that is the lowest price I have seen anywhere on Dick Blick they're still not in on Amazon they are $95 still and that doesn't include shipping so I highly recommend going to jet.com if you want to pick them up but the thing that I also like about jet.com is they will deliver groceries for you in two days and the more you buy and the more you put in your cart the cheaper all the products are so you get a 10% uh, 15% saving to start with when you first order and then you'll get 10 cents off will turn into a dollar off depending if you buy a certain amount of products or anything like that and things just keep getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper because they really want to bring the savings back to you guys and I think that they're a really cool company so go check them out they got everything they got furniture they got craft stuff they got food they got whatever you can take a look for yourself but I think that that's a really cool place and then I did want to do a quick Taking stock of what we used this week, we did use a lot of products from Gesso to the Graphite Paste to I love my Simply Defined 80 pound cardstock. Uh, it works really well. It's a really beautiful, smooth cardstock, great for coloring on and doing Copics and everything like that. But the thing that we tended to use the most were Distress Inks, and that's because I find that they're very versatile. And I also like to make my own paper. So I take my simple you know 80 pound white cardstock and I will use my distress inks along with some stencils and stuff like that to make my own paper because I know that it'll match and it'll go exactly the way I want to for whatever reason I have trouble picking out paper and then liking it later on and making things match so that's what I do you'll see that in a lot of the videos but we also use them by doing watercolors with them and the other thing that I like is I can actually color in images with them if you can believe that you'll see that in this upcoming Friday video so the last thing before we go and happy Sunday to you all is I want to kind of give you a little sneak peek of what we've got going on for the upcoming week 
So Monday, we're kind of doing this cool Alice in Wonderland journal that was inspired by a journal I made for my friend Morgan. Um, I made her just a really quick, fun, cute journal, and she loved it. She's already filled it up, but I happen to have a second journal that I use actually like a test journal. So I have a test journal, and this is just Prima. I got it, I think, $2 at the outlet store, and I just use it to do all of my journal testing on my... Uh, my, my Lindy sprays. I'll put black gesso on one side and white gesso on the other and I'll see how the sprays react because the big thing is when it's on black gesso it's only the mica powder shimmer that comes through as the color versus here it's totally different. So I'll test that out, I'll test my embossing powders out, I will test out my crackle paste, I have just pages and pages of my Lindy spray and uh, a bunch of other random stuff. See, there's my crackle paste. It's not pretty, but it's effective and it works. And so I decided to take my brand new fresh test journal and make an Alice in Wonderland cover from it. And then we have on Wednesday a really cute fun card. And then Thursday, I'm actually going to show you a really cool trick that I learned at a class on how to use toilet paper to make leather. So it looks just like leather, but all you're going to use is simple easy brown toilet paper rolls. This was the coolest thing ever that I learned in the class from Scrapbooking Forever. It blew my mind. And then Musical Friday, I'm not going to tell you what song we were requested to do, but I will tell you that it is a Disney song and we do have a lot of fun cute cards coming up. We're actually going to make three cards because it's our first Musical Friday. You get a little bonus. Last one is Simple Saturday and for that we're going to do the really awesome Hunky Dory gift that I got a few weeks ago at the Crafters Garage Sale and I'm going to show you just how to put that together and make a cute card topper and then fit it onto a card and that's our week. So make sure that you guys come back during the week to see all the really cool videos. Check out any of the videos. I'll leave them in the link down below if you haven't seen last week's videos and stick around for next Sunday to find out more. Bye guys.